All right, good morning. Let's jump in here to GDXY. What do we have going on? Well, on 625, GDX went down 1.2%, and we went down 0.43. So we had a 33.84, which dropped below 34 and we were only down 12 cents. So there were some, well, I don't know if the share count went up, but it didn't. But what I think happens, remember, people can buy in the fund and they don't create what they call a creation unit. And a creation unit is when they post that the share count went up. Well, obviously, when they're putting on some of these smaller contract trades, some people are buying into it. They just don't give us another creation unit and we'd have to make this 350. So there was some buy-in, just to clarify that. So 40, so they did a synthetic, right? A buy, call, sell, put for 40 contracts. And they sold short a 40 weekly at 3450 with three remaining days. So let me put the 628 there. That's about the only other label that I didn't put, just so we can track it that way. Um, and what did that give us? Well, that gave us 17 cents, right? It, whoops, that should be, why did that go? Oh, no, that's right. Sorry, I was looking at something else. I, I keep two monitors, not that you guys care, but I keep other information or articles or something on the web, and I just drag it over. I'm using a desktop, and I keep two big monitors. So I'm recording from my monitor on my lap, and then I drag images um, over as necessary, or I'm reading the material that I've used to post over here. Okay, so get through that. That gave us uh, 600, oops, that's, no, that's right, $680, so not a lot of money when it's 17 cents involved, right? Um, so I didn't realize how small it was. Now on the synthetic, it's a little bit nicer, right? Let's go take a look at that. So the 40 contracts there gave us $15,600, right? So a bigger amount because we're buying a call and we're selling a put and it's far out of the money, right? 30, 30, be more than $4, right? Just being out of the money. So that means when they sold that, it was probably trading up in the 34 range to only get $4. Because now you have just the difference is four something, right? Uh, and then there's a little bit of time premium on there. So you could get more if more were sold. So that, let me make sure that what I did, yeah, everything else looks good. All right, so let's jump over to weekly. So those happen to be at the same strike price that our 35, uh, sorry, our 17, 1,750. So now our total is all at this level. Well, look at where we're trading. Right? We're trading pretty close. But with this fund, there's still, you know, we're still at the point where we've captured 56% of the weeklies, right? So GDX was, whoops, this is not, I hate it when everywhere isn't updated, right? This should be 1873, I think. Yep. Okay. So that's all updated. We're winning on our weekly still, although we're getting real close there. Let's go look at that at a bigger scope. This is more detail. So we have 56 captured because when we wrote those other ones, it was way down. So we got pretty good premium. We can go back and look and you can see that it closed at 15.5, right? Let's go to June and you'll see that. 
where we wrote that. Yeah, we got 36 cents, see, by the fact that it's moved up and time has passed. Um, it's down to less than half, right? 18 would be half. So the actual value at the end of the day was 15.5. So we're winning big time on those guys. But again, we could blow right by that, but the good news is that would drive our synthetics up in value, right? For every closer you get here, the put goes down and the call goes up in value. It just gives us a good situation here, but not without a liability, right? You still have a liability hanging out there. All right, let's see what else in holdings. So we closed at 18.73, and fair value is 18.73. You love it when something good comes together. Um, so I told you, oh, we're 7.15 now. So I updated this, and actually I'm gonna start putting a link to, I only have to update in one place and then everything else reads that. Um, but here's the trending, right? When we go down, after having an up day, we, we're down at a 715 liability. We had a 626, we had a 667. And so even though these dates aren't always updated, I know that they're the most recent and trend back, right? Well, technically, 26 hasn't transpired yet, so. This was as of the close of 25. So anyway, that's what we, and in like on Coney, I put charts and all that stuff. So, you know, um, I could make this a little bit automated off a of date I could put over here. But the truth is, then you get those holidays and it sort of messes it up. So anyway, that's what we got. We're capturing 56% so far of the weekly with the danger we run by it. Um, Let's get into payments and see how we're doing. The, the, this one's collecting a little good money along the way. I know a lot of you know I'm bullish on GDXY. Again, though, it may not be till September where we really break out. I, I'm hoping it's July. I'm seeing some good signals about July. Uh, I got a chart for you guys tomorrow um, on platinum. I see a big move up in platinum. Uh, relative to gold, right? I mean, platinum typically is one and a half, you know, historic. It has a premium to gold. It's way under gold right now. It's like under half of gold. So those kind of things that are out of sync don't last, right? And platinum and palladium actually have some benefit in industry. Right, besides being a precious metal. I mean, gold really doesn't have a lot of benefits except for a store of wealth, you know. You can't replicate it, you can't, you can't turn it into digital. And, and frankly, that's why I'm also bullish on BTC because it really is a form of digital gold. Uh, as long as they maintain their, their independence, right, and not government controlled. I mean, heck, if governments had their way they'd, and made gold the standard, they'd have to have a way to print it. That's why they don't want any part of the gold standard anymore, because they want to print, 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 right? Which is exactly why store, real stores of value and why this commodity cycle will present itself again over this next eight years. So that's what I got for you guys there. Let's jump into the payout. So here we are. Here's the down and dirty. So we're still setting at 325, although I'm sure in another day or two, if we get small amounts, this will jump to 350 or 375. So we've collected 63 cents so far, right? This didn't add, whoops, did I add this? 27 on sync 38. Let me just make sure. Uh, that would be 15, no, I did, oh, yeah, I did, I went to F15, okay, it's a small amount, even this, so I just double check those, um, and the same thing on this, I went to 33, yep, okay. I did this one actually first. It's the last one I posted, but it's the first one I actually, so it's further back in my memory. 
Okay, so on the payout, uh, 63 cents here, of the 63 cents, 50 percent is this weekly short call collection. And you can see the numbers, right? You, you see this is a much bigger number than on the synthetic. Uh, previously, the synthetic got us a lot more money last month. But remember, in this fund, we've got six weeks, right? And that's why you see two months here without a distribution. So if you look at it, they've really got a dollar seven and sixty three. Now we have one more weekly. That's assuming we win this weekly. We certainly could get pushed on that thirty four five and lose a little bit of, of that money because it's all at that one strike. Um, but with a dollar seventy, I've been basically saying, okay, it's a new fund. They don't want to pay all of it out. They want to keep some kind of reserve, okay? Especially on the first one as they get going. Somebody in the comments said to me, oh, Bruce, Jay said they're always going to pay all the money out because I said, you don't understand what he really means. They have a fiscal year and they have to, by tax code, pay out 90% of all the money earned or gained, okay? But when you have, like in the case of Ybit, when you have a six or seven dollar synthetic um, gain, but you've got a same amount loss, you'd be foolish to pay that seven dollars out. Where are you going to get the seven dollars to pay off if the synthetic doesn't just fly up? So it's one thing on these weekly. When these weeklies are done, they're done. But on the synthetic, you always have a liability, right? So in this case, we even have a liability, right? We have, I think, 675,000. So they're, they're probably going to be conservative. And basically, I put a formula in here right now. As this changes, I'm taking half of it, right? So that's 170 when you add that together. So this one says, do this, do this, and take half, OK? And then I take it based on the current price to give us a yield. And since GDX itself yields 30, mid-30s, this is a nice payment. Now, I'm so bullish when these miners get running and the metals run, I think you could see 80, 90, 100% yield for a period of time because they're so grossly outperforming. But the yield hasn't been, or the IV, sorry, the internal volati implied volatility simply hasn't been that high. So even paying this amount is a very good payment, right? On an 1873 fund paying 85 cents, that puts them in the top quadrant. So let's see what happens, but it's a new fund. I think they want it to be successful. So one of the ways is go pay half out, even if you have a, a paper liability out there. So that's what I got for you on GDXY. I think the bullish market side of it is going to kick in. I hope it happens in July, but I'm, I'm worst case prepared for September to get the big moves. We, we shall see. Okay, guys, have a great day ahead. Bye. Oh, again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. It's for fun and entertainment. See you guys. Bye.